Welcome back to Dreamfall, the longest journey. We're heading into back to Reza's house or his apartment. Trying to see if we can fix um what's his face? The gorilla. Lucia. So I guess we need to add this. Or maybe we need to do this. No. This. And then this. Welcome back. Oh. Oh, Zoe, I had a dream about you. I had many dreams. I dreamed that you took my mind away. You're okay now, Lucia. I am? Oh, that's good. Where's Reza? He'll be back soon, I'm sure. Good. I miss Reza. Lucia? Yeah, Zoe? Please, please let this work. I'll be here when you come back. That's the password, Zoe. I guess you received the message. Don't worry, Reza's probably okay, but he needs you to do him a favor. He keeps a notepad in his safe. It contains information about the stories he's currently working on. It's encrypted, but Olivia should be able to decrypt it. Ask her to hold on to it, and don't let it fall into the wrong hands. If something bad has happened to him, the reason why is most likely in that notepad somewhere. In that case, make sure the truth gets out. Follow me, Zoe. I'll open the safe for you. Thank you. Oh. Wait, how do you do this again? There's some command you could look. Oh. Oh, here we go. This is. Just I see the notepad. Reza's notepad. Locked and encrypted, of course. Olivia will know how to open it. Oh! Mysterious hey. woman! Hey, what are you doing here? Who are you? Don't! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! <laughs> That takes a notepad, though. Freaky women. What just happened? Who were they? Um, can I get my brain back? Please switch yourself off, Lucia. Okay, Zoe. Do you think I'll dream about Reza? Maybe. Yes, I'm sure you will. Good. Sorry, Lucia. This belongs to Wonkers. Reza's Wartilla. Her name's Lucia. Okay. So. Just trying to scare me, those freaking women? Hey, Kath, you're back. Didn't I see that same cat yesterday? I think you did, Zoe. So let's head back to uh, Liv. Let's see what she thinks of this magical notebook. No scary woman here. Just me. Hey Zoe, what's up? You look a little pale. You're not going to believe this. I was attacked. Again. What? 
Sweetie, are you okay? Yeah, just... just a bit shaken. Was it the eye? No. I was in Reza's apartment, looking for his notebook, when these two girls showed up. They looked like they were twins. I really thought they were going to kill me. One of them slammed me up against the wall, knocked the breath out of me, and... and then they left. Both of them, without saying a word. It looked like they received a message. What were they looking for? Did they take anything? No. Nope. They didn't even take the notebook. I dropped it on the floor. They must not have noticed it. I think I got really lucky. Then I came straight here. I need your help with the notes. And the notepad, do you still have it? Give it to me, sweetie, and I'll see what I can do. Okay. Hey, do you have the notebook? Give it to me and I'll take a look at it. Guess I hit the wrong button. Liv's been my best friend through thick and th Liv spends way too much what? time in her store. She definitely needs to get out more. Olivia DeMarco. Here's Reza's notepad. Okay. Okay. Just a sec and I'll let you know what we're dealing with. Oh, freaky. Okay, sweetie. I need time to equip this thing. It's got some heavy locks on it. Except for the final entry. For some reason, that's only got basic encryption. Which Reza knows I'd be able to quickly crack. Of course! He wants us to read it. It says Venice Newport, The Fringe, Charlie. That's oh. it. Newport. That's in North America, the West Coast. I wonder what the fringe is. Maybe he's meeting this Charlie guy at a restaurant. I have to go to Newport. I don't know, sweetie. Maybe you should just give the information to Reza's editor. Let the hand that bites handle it. I can't do that. This is Reza we're talking about. He's in trouble. I can't just sit here and wait for him to come back. What if he needs my help? You're right. I mean, he's my friend too, and I want to help him. I just don't know if going to Newport is the way to do that. What else can I do? It's the only clue I have. Venice, Newport, the Fringe. That's probably where Reza's gone, to see this Charlie person. I'll work on decrypting the rest of Reza's notes. We need to figure out what he was working on. It could take a while, so I'll just close up the store. Are you sure? My regulars know how to get in touch. I'll call you as soon as I got something. Great. Thanks, Liv. You're the best. Take care, okay, sweetie? I want you back in one piece. I'll need to go home and get my backpack before I leave for Newport. Backpack time! I could put the brain back in wonkers. Unless something happens. So, Newport. Hmm. Going back there again. If you don't know, it's a place from the longest journey. Charlie was one of April Ryan's fans. Hey, Walkers. Get a brain I'll have job. To put Wonkers together again after all this is over. I won't be able to live with myself. Oh, hello, Zoe. Hey, you're as good as new. How do you feel? I feel the same as always. Why? No reason. It's good to have you back. Thank you, Zoe. Let's get the backpack. Is that a backpack? Guess it's a backpack. Now what? Loading screen. Is this the way to Newport? I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. A long trip. 
Well. Crow! Yay! Snow Crow. For the rescue. I smell the enemy. They are close. Okay, Naane, you divert their attention when they get close enough. Bryn, stay behind Chowan. I can handle I don't I care if you I wield your sword like any guy on Blade Dancer. We're not at home. We don't have the advantage. Follow my lead, Bryn. Your blade will taste blood today. Worry not. Let the smoke clear before you attack. The toxins lose their effect quickly, but you should still not breathe them. Got it. Hey, Juan. What do they smell like, the enemy? Hush. Hold on. What is it? Frozen water. I haven't seen this before. You'll tire of it soon enough, Bayel. It's almost like... like walking on clouds. Would you believe that some Eastlanders strap metal bars to their feet to make them glide on the ice? It looks ridiculous. Shh. Did you hear something? Rebels! Now! Oh no, oh no. I found April, now I have to save her. I'm gonna block again. Just block. Yes! We beat that soldier. <laughs> now I'm stuck. Oh, I hate this fighting system, it's the worst. Damage! Come on. I need to save April, not die. Oh my god, April's dead. And she glitched into that guy. Frick. Yeah, reload. Reload. Can we skip this scene? Fast forward. Oh god, the system. Why are you doing this to me? Press, press what again? Not that button. Now, oh, here we go. go yes. So he's down. Next one. Damn you! Okay, so you need to block at the right moment as well. Okay. Oh, here we go. No more. Please, no more. Where's your goddess now? Where's your goddess now? Pants. The Azadi are coming farther and farther north. We kill ten, another twenty appear. So we kill them too. They're not invincible. That's not the way to stop them, Bryn. We need a better plan. Our sources in the city may have information. I hope so. But we need to focus on getting the supplies and bringing them back to the swamplands. Everything else is secondary. They are all depending on us. If another moon passes, the children will be at risk. If they should fall ill... Naane is right. 
We go back as soon as we have what we came for, and we do not engage the enemy within scouting distance of the city. We'll be cautious, Juan. Now we continue, another few days due south, and we'll see her, Mercuria. I can't wait to see the city. If it's anything like you've described, April, it must be amazing. It's been a long time. Things change. Come on, let's move out. And from our first view of April Ryan, we head to Venice, Newport, Newport, Venice, whatever. Uh, home of at April Ryan and the longest journey. So, um, where, where are we supposed to go here? That's a good question. What is this? It's not responding. I hope that's just because there aren't any taxis available. This is a much more beat down place for sure. Well, it's a different style at least. I believe we need to talk to Charlie, who was uh, April Ryan's friend. Worked at the bar. Did he own the bar? I think he owned the bar. This certainly looks different from The Longest Journey, but... Like a game that came out seven years later, that looks very different. It's kind of what you imagine. We got the big clock there and uh, apparently people living tents out okay. here. Shit. Yeah, it's pretty shit. So we've got an alley down here. Um, good question, where do we need to go? Got a lot of homeless. Hello! Lady. Hello! Come, Wonkers! Please. He looks like he could sell pretty much anything. And... Okay, he does. Are you talking to me? Yes, yes, you! You see anybody else around? Didn't think so, no. Welcome to Best Shop in Venice. Thank you. Anything you're looking for, I provide. Except drugs. Competition too strong. Oh. I don't want any drugs. Look, I'm new to this place, and I'm wondering if you... No shit. You fit right in. Now, what can I get you? I'm not looking to buy anything right now. Well, this is shop. Place of business. No loitering. I'm not loitering. You called me over here. <sighs> details, details. So, you need any help? Uh, fringe. I'm looking for a place called The Fringe. Ah, The Fringe. So you know where it is? I certainly do. Well, could you tell me, please? <sighs> yes, yes. Keep pants on. Why? Very close. Go to other side of Crossroads, find Via Milano, go through Tunnel to Florence Square, and there you are. On the other side? Thanks. You are most welcome, and good luck. Uh, I didn't really get those directions. Let's go this way. Oh, loading screen. Every day since the collapse has been a struggle. Why do I keep on? Neon media. This is place. Nice and warm. I can feel my hands and toes again. How about this hand? I have nothing left to live for. I used to own an art gallery here in Venice. <laughs> now look at me. Oh. I don't talk to outsiders. 
Another cold and rainy day in Newport. And to make things worse, my arthritis is acting up. I can't afford any procedures. There's a chair. This looks. This this is the border house. This down here was the place where the rubber, rubber duck was, I think. Oh, let's. There's a call button here. No answer. It's locked. I can see the point of using these barrels now. Pizza. Um, wasn't it over here? Yes, that bridge is down. Maybe over there. Or is that where we came from? No, it's over there. I'm not sure I want to find out what's up there. Let's go down here see what we got. Oh, this is the French. Oh, that's the door. Yeah, okay. It's a, it's a door. buzzer. Yeah? Hello, is Charlie there, please? Who is this? My name's Zoe. I'm a friend of Reza. I'm looking for him. I think he might have been here. I don't know anybody named Razor. Sorry. Goodbye. Wait. He's a reporter. Goes by the name Jericho. All right. Come on in. Well, this place looks nice. Quite different. Yes. Can I help you? That I'm looking for Charlie. Right. He's down there, past the bar. Thank you. Whatever. Whatever yourself. Hey, Charlie. What are you doing, Charlie? That must be Charlie. I think it's Charlie. I like this piece of art. I like the style of this place. It's cool. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. No. Excuse me, are you Charlie? Yeah, Zoe, right? You said you're a friend of Jericho's? That's right. Has he been here? How do you know Jericho? We go way back. If you're such good friends, why do you need to track him down? Can't you just call him? It's a long story. Jericho's investigating a story and he's gone subterranean. His mobile's off. He may be in danger. I need to find him. Look... Charlie, he left me a message with your name in it. It's the only clue I have to go on. All right. I believe you. I spoke with Jericho a couple of days ago. He called me, asked me some questions. I answered them. That's all. I really didn't want to get mixed up in anything. I have a business to run, and my customers don't like publicity. Sorry, girl. I wish I could help, but that's everything I know. Stop lying. If you have any information, it, it would be worth a lot to me. Is that so? Like what? Money? Or are you offering me something else? Like yourself? Uh, I... I'm not... You don't need to answer that, girl. I get it. You must love this guy a lot. That's all I needed to know. Look, your friend, he was here last night. He said some things shouldn't cross the wire. He wanted to know about this place I used to live in place called the Border House. The Border House? It was a boarding house for students, run by an English lady, Fiona. That's where Jericho got my name from. The place has been turned into a hotel now. The Victory Hotel. Shady place. Jericho wanted to know everything about the building. Entrances, exits, floor plans, the works. He didn't tell me, and I didn't ask, 
but my guess is he was planning to break into the place. Why? There are stories. They say the place isn't really a hotel, but some kind of front for... I don't know, and I don't want to know. Like I said, there are stories. What kind of stories? Look, I get all sorts in here. I hear things. But if I start shooting my mouth off, I get burned. I lose my customers. I lose my business. Hell, with some of the people that come in here to party, I could lose a lot more than that. So don't get me wrong. I would love to help you. But like I told your friend, I can't say much more than that. I understand. So Jericho was interested in the layout of that place. What did you call it? The Border House. Victory Hotel. Yeah. I told him there are canals running underneath the building and that there's a backyard. Since they drain the water, you can use the canals to get around. There might be a way into the building from the back. And Jericho, he went there last night? I honestly couldn't tell you, girl. We spoke, he left, haven't heard from him since. Okay, well, I guess that's a start. Victory Hotel. Where is the Victory Hotel? It's on a street called The Brink. Walk to the other side of the crossroads, past the Chinaman's store, you'll get to a bridge called the Rialto. Cross the Rialto to get to Marco Polo. Marco Polo will take you to the brink. Victory Hotel's on the end of the brink. Big gray building, wooden door, bench out front. I think there's some scaffolding still left from the construction work. That might help you get down into the canals, but I haven't been around there in a while. Gotcha. Do you own this place? Nah, I just run it. I used to own it, though. Bought it cheaply right after the collapse, hoping business would pick up again. It never did. I managed to sell it eventually, and the new owners hired me back to manage it. With the new capital, we turned the business around. We're one of the hottest places to go in Newport right now. We get VIPs from around the world. They scram in, party, leave the next morning. Funny thing is, 10 years ago, this was a popular student hangout, the Fringe Cafe. I worked here as a bartender. This neighborhood, Venice, it was a great place to live. We used to think it was the center of the world. And it was, for a while. Different world, different times. The collapse changed a lot of things. Hell, it changed everything. Have you lived in Venice all your life? Feels like that sometimes. But no, I came here for school when I was 19. The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts. It was famous. Still is, but uh, for very different reasons. Back then, it was the best art school in the city. After the collapse, I lived uptown for a while. I needed to get as far away from Venice as I possibly could. Place has gone to hell the past decade, even more so than the rest of Newport. I don't live here. No one lives here, not if they have a choice. What did you study at the academy? <laughs> I'll tell you if you promise not to laugh. I studied dance. You did? I was a kid. I believed that with enough passion, I could do anything I wanted. I had such faith in myself and in the world. But faith and passion alone will only carry you so far before reality sets in. I hung in there for a while, but money was tight. I had to drop out and find a job. When that happens, you got to face up to the facts. Your life ain't gonna turn out the way you hoped it would. And your dreams... They don't matter so much anymore. You lose faith, but life goes on. Besides, look where it got me in the end. I've done well for myself. I'm a happy man. Giving up on your dreams isn't necessarily such a bad thing. Where's the Victory Hotel again? Go past the Chinaman's... I know that. Thanks, Charlie. I appreciate all your help. You're welcome, girl. Let me know if you find your friend, all right? All right. Well, I'm going to end the episode right here. Thank you for watching. I'm Flux, and I'll be back with the next one very soon.